gas evolution reactions. So here we've got aqueous solutions mixing in a gas forms, and we can observe this as fizzing or bubbling. Sometimes the gas is formed directly from the ion exchange. So here you know, we're switching the partners, potassium with sulfate, hydrogen with sulfide, and that gives us something that's a gas. Other times, you're gonna swap the partners and you're gonna form a compound that turns out to be unstable. So sodium hydrogen carbonate, that's baking soda, and hydrochloric acid, which happens to be the acid in your stomach. Um, we swap the partners there, we get sodium chloride, which is table salt, and H2CO3, carbonic acid. This is why, you know, if you, it's not a good idea to eat baking soda. I mean, why would you want to anyway? It doesn't taste very good. But if you do, it's going to react with the acid in your stomach and you're going to burp a lot, right? It's going to make, a, it's going to, this carbonic acid is not stable and it's going to decompose into water and carbon dioxide. That's all the burping. So this is an illustration of, of that happening. So here we have the hydrogen carbonate ions and the sodium ions, the chloride ions, and the hydronium ions. So that's where the hydrogen ion is. So this, the hydrogen ion from the hydronium um, comes over here, makes carbonic acid, but then that's not stable, and so it comes apart into CO2 and water. So um, this is one of those things that's not a real big deal, but I'm supposed to teach it to you, so I'm teaching it to you. Um, if you swap partners in a chemical reaction and you end up with one of these, um, sorry, that's not what I meant to do. If you end up with one of these guys, H2S or one of these, a gas is going to form. H2S is a gas all by itself, and these other three are unstable, and they're gonna decompose to form gases. And so you just kinda of have to remember those. But I will show you that how to figure out what gas they make is, there's a kind of a, a trick for that. So let's look at the H2CO3. Each of these unstable compounds, when it decomposes, forms a water molecule and something else. So this is gonna make water and, well, let's look at what is left after I take an H2 and O out of here. So I'm gonna get rid of both of those H's and I'm gonna get rid of one of the oxygens. So that's CO2, that's the gas. If we do that with sulfurous acid, HSO3, that's gonna form H2O. No, I don't wanna do red again. So I'm gonna lose those two H's and one of the O's. And so the gas is going to be SO2 and NH4OH. This looks very different but again, it's gonna make H2O and something else. So take off this H and one of those H's and the oxygen. And what's left is NH3, which is a gas. So here's an example problem. Write a molecular equation for the gas evolution reaction that occurs when you mix aqueous hydrobromic acid and aqueous potassium sulfite. And see, they gave us this hint in here, gas evolution reaction. So hydrobromic acid, that's hydrogen ions and bromide ions. So that's HBr. And potassium sulfite. Potassium is K plus. Sulfite is sulfur and oxygens. Sulfate is SO4, two minus. 
So fight is just with three, two minors. So that would be K2SO3. And then we're going to swap the partners. So we're going to get KBR. and H plus with the sulfite. So that would be H2SO3. That's one of those guys. Let's balance this and then we'll let sulfurous acid fall apart. So I'm gonna start with the potassium again, just because looking at this, I can tell that it's not balanced. There's two potassiums here and only one over there. So I'm gonna put a two here to balance the potassiums. And then I'll check this bromine. There's two bromines now here, and so I need to put a two over here. And now I've got two hydrogens here, which match the two hydrogens over there, and I have one SO3 and one SO3. So that guy is not gonna stay together. He's gonna fall apart. He's gonna fall apart into water. And what's left when I take away the two H's and one of the O's, SO2 just SO2. So, oh, I don't need to specify that? Um, yes, I thought you were saying plus. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, gas. We should. This is the kind of question they sometimes ask instructors when they're interviewing for jobs. Except they don't mention that it's a gas evolution reaction. Just to see, do they remember? Do they know their stuff? So that would be the molecular equation. Any questions? The gas evolution thing is not a big deal. It's a little deal. <laughs> 